I'm outside again and I am here exploring it, this mountain range that I want to find new campgrounds and new spots at. So I'm out here just plotting those on my maps uh, for other times to come out here. Day trips, I'm probably about an hour, hour and a half away from where I live. So this is a prime spot to get away for uh, a day trip or even a, um, a one nighter, two nighter type of thing. So I'm real excited to check this entire place out. And if you can kind of see the mountain up there, that's where I'll be. I'm gonna start down here real quick at this other little, you know, camp spot looking place. It's pretty sweet. This is already pre-established. Here's a couple fire rings over there and some tables. Another one over here. However, I'm gonna do it just a, a quick trash pickup around here because there is a fair bit of junk just floating around. Ooh, Oreos. <laughs> just floating around. This place is a little bit more trashed. And this area just recently opened. They had all these gates closed because there was still a bit of snow up on top of the mountains and they don't want people coming in here and sliding off the mountains, trying keeping us safe. So thanks to the Rangers for finally opening these back up and they have determined that it is safe enough for us to travel and explore. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spend some time cleaning up this place so we can keep these places open for more future adventures and camping trips and off-roading trips. So let me, uh, let me get cracking on that. All right, so I spent a solid 15 minutes or so just walking around this entire area between the individual little camp spots and I collected about a half bag of you know, kitchen bag. I think it's like 13 gallon kitchen bag. So I've got that just about half full of stuff. And uh, the coolest thing I found was Fruit Loops. <laughs> found Fruit Loops right there and Right there, Fruit Loops. The scariest thing I found on the ground were batteries. Uh, batteries are scary because they have a tendency to explode with heat. The next scariest thing I found was a smoldering fire over there. And I'm the only one here. There's no one else here. So they must have left earlier this morning, but the fire pit up there is still smoldering. I'm gonna go with a little bit more water on it just to keep the temperature down. I was walking by picking up some trash. And I felt a heat wave <laughs> and it's not that hot today. It's actually really, really awesome. So uh, I put my hand down there and I could feel the heat coming out of it. And uh, it's definitely still smoldering. So I'm gonna go put some water on it. I've got a bunch of extra water here. I don't I don't go out alone without uh, a lot of extra water. So go ahead, put that out. Real freaking hot in there. Look at that. Holy crap, man. The wind will pick up those ashes and bring up some of those hot ashes and send it out onto the dry brush out under these trees and stuff like that. So that's scary, dude. That's really scary. That's why I carry a lot of extra water. I bring my shovel too, so I'm gonna go turn that up. Turn that fire a little bit, cool it down. Now, when I'm doing these extended trips out camping and off-roading and stuff like that, I tend to generate some trash like any other camper out there, right? Uh, and you don't typically wanna put that trash back in your car. So this isn't a sponsored video, however, I just want to say I really appreciate my trash roo. This trash roo has been super, super helpful every single time. It's huge, it's strong, it's robust, it fits, well, a lot. <laughs> it's rated for about 50 pounds. I can tell you I've had more than that. I've had two now. The first one I had was stolen, which is kind of a bittersweet thing. But look, if someone's stealing your trash roo, they know what it is and they're probably gonna go and pick up trash. 
but I've had maybe four days worth of trash with, between two people. Me and my wife were touring the Eastern Sierras and it was super, super awesome. We didn't have to drive a stinky car at all. It was really cool to have it outside of the car so you don't have to be driving in your trash. And in fact, someone else's trash. So I don't want my trash in the car. And why would I want someone else's trash in my car? I'm gonna do my part and help pick up a little bit, sure, but it's going to my trash room. It ain't going inside my car because that stinks. It's really nice because these things also have drain holes in the bottom because sometimes you get liquids that spill and leak and drip and stuff. You also don't want that in the car. We all know that is the worst smelling stuff. So having it outside the car on, to, on the car itself really, really helps. You do have these super sweet you know, pouches here where you can put things. You got some Molly loops here. If you want to hook something else on here. You got a little bit of zipper storage here in the lid right here if you want to put some extra bags and this is a thick thick canvas so it's been holding up very very well pressure wash it and stuff like that takes it totally fine they do have a tendency to fade that's pretty much about it other than that the uh the robustness has just been absolutely awesome so i'm gonna continue on my trip i'm gonna pop that in here and and go mark some new camp spots I don't know if you can hear that, but that is the most peaceful sound. It's when you're almost on top of a mountain, but you can hear the wind going through all these pines. It is something else. So this is the first spot I wanted to log it is already been used, I know that. I've been here a couple times, I'm actually quite familiar with this spot. I just wanted to get up here and pin it and make sure that uh, you know certain vehicles can make it up here and certain vehicles can't. So I made it up that entire road in two-wheel drive. So that was very promising for people who want to join me is I would just recommend something with a little bit more ground clearance. Four-wheel drive was optional at that point, um, not entirely required. So this is, <laughs> oh my gosh. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is why I came up here too. Just get away from the loud city for a while. Got a great view out there over the mountains. Wow. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> Now what's really cool about this spot is I've seen probably two cars, heard nothing but wind and birds, and there is like maybe one piece of trash on the ground. This place is really, really cool. This is, this is where I want to be, right here. Did I show you my new toy too, by the way? Check this out. Front runner, drop down table. What up? A little slide out action. Nice, sturdy metal construction. This thing is super, super sweet, super sweet.
So I've driven a lot of this road in this area. However, there are several little offshoot areas that I've never been up. So I'm exploring most of those today to see, because I know you can camp at a lot of these. Uh, at the end of this one, it's supposed to be a dead end. So I'd like to see exactly what is up here, if there's any tables or any fire pits or, or what. But this road and this trail, this area is absolutely stunning. It's super pretty, super shady, lots of pines. It's a little chilly as I keep going up, but that's kind of expected. Um, but wow, this is this is something else. This is why I get out. This is why I get out and do this stuff. This is wild. Maybe three people <laughs> this entire trip so far. It's super nice to just have a whole mountain to yourself. So I think I'm gonna call it at that. This has been an extraordinary day just exploring the top side of this mountain. And I think I've found some great spots, some great camping spots that I can go to in the future. Bring some friends along. Everything that I did today was two wheel drive friendly. There was a couple ground clearance spots that I'd probably mark and make sure that people are more than okay. This is actually quite a nice spot right here too. No shade really, but this is uh, nice and flat for a tent. This has been absolutely an awesome day out here exploring. Check this out. Check this view out. 